And now the story of a dog named Drew and his master, Pavlov. Every day, Pavlov would feed Drew. Drew's mouth would water every time he was fed. One day, Pavlov rang a bell just before feeding time. Pavlov rang the bell each day just before feeding. One day, the bell rang and Drew began to salivate. But there was no food. This involuntary reaction made Drew one of the most famous dogs in history. Together with his best friend Pavlov, Drew had proven the scientific theory of conditioning. It turns out that a wide variety of reactions can be triggered in similar fashion. Now imagine that Pavlov is a news network and viewers are all dogs. By repeatedly delivering negative information in association with trigger words or names, the head of a news organization could poison the minds of millions so that any mention of a person's name would instantly create negative, aggressive, or fear-based responses. Psychologists call this emotional transference. In a time of calamity, one could influence purchase habits. Remember the great toilet paper run of 2020? There was no real shortage of toilet paper, but the focus on toilet paper shortages by mass media resulted in hoarding, which created a real-world shortage. On a more interesting note, across the United States, there was a dramatic increase in the installation and use of bidets, a European alternative to toilet paper. The mass transition to bidets due to the perceived shortage of toilet paper is called behavior modification. Behavior modification was the basis of a decades-long series of CIA-funded human experiments in the United States and Canada known as MKUltra. MKUltra used drugs like LSD and amphetamines on sometimes unwilling subjects. Combined with isolation, fear, and bombardment of repetitious messages, MKUltra pushed the limits of human experimentation and mind control. Consider, the FDA and our medical institutions have released massive amounts of amphetamines and opioids on the American people over the last 40 years, while simultaneously a smaller and smaller number of politically charged elites dictate what shows we watch, what news we see, and what messages we are allowed to hear. Many of these people put profit and politics over civil rights and the Constitution. One has to wonder, did MKUltra ever end, or did it take over the world? With this kind of power, one could condition the world into believing a safe medication was deadly, or a deadly treatment was safe and effective, all by transferring the triggered hatred of a political figure. And it all started with a dog named Drew.